we're in Nikina at the um, at the Penix Motel. <laughs> Just convened here after 13 hours of driving. We're here. It's fall. Hunting, fishing. Something will die this week. <laughs> Grossly overweight. What was the overweight on that? Like 800 pounds or something? I'm not sure. It was a lot though. We had to charter another plane, right? Yeah. Funny thing, I think your guide buddy there yesterday told yeah. me. Yeah. Burger comes heavy. <laughs> Get out of here! No way! The new flying. The walleye bandit. <laughs> oh, I better put my bandit mask on. We're, we're getting ready for our fight. We gotta actually get prepared to battle this virus. Just flew into Black Birch, Black Birch Lake Outpost Camp, operated by Greywood Outfitters out of Nikina. But it's like 180 kilometers north of Nikina. It's uh, it's insanely far north. It's the first week of September. What is yep. it? So we just got set up. We just got our rods all rigged up, and uh, the other two lads. There's six of us. The other two lads are already out there. Um, there's already been like probably I think six walleyes just quickly caught off the dock right there. So. No, a little flurry, so yeah, we're going to go out and see if we can just take the edge off. I think right now we're probably just going to fish for walleye, <clears throat> so let's see what water temperature we got. My guess is high 50s, so let's have a look. Ha, huh, 59.3. Wow. Not bad. How's that for a good guess? Not your first rodeo. No. Five for five. Five casts, five fish. We just started. Day one. It's literally right around the corner from, there's the other boys actually just hopping in the boat. There's the dock right there. It's worth the drive to Nikina. Yeah, there's a point right here and uh, it's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. There's a little one. They're all really beautiful, healthy looking oh, fish. Yeah. But like literally five for five. It's... <laughs> We're not gonna get a better start than that no. for walleye. That's walleye fishing. We're in, we're actually in 15 feet right here, and then the 14, 15, and then it comes up onto 8, 9. It's actually 30 feet. There's incredible structure here. Just a little bit more that way off the point. It's like 30 feet, super close to shore. There yep, it is. There it, oh, drop it back down, drop it back yeah, down. I, I don't want to break my streak. That's right. Wouldn't it be funny? Every single cast for the entire trip. Every single cast for the entire time. trip. I knew the walleye fishing was going to be ridiculous. Oh, it's just like off, off the, map. the challenge is going to be the big pike, which we know are here, but it's it's sort of almost mid-September, and it's it's always a little bit more challenging in mid-September. It's still day one. We uh, we haven't traveled far. We just went I don't know about three four k south of camp, and right here is a uh, the, the entrance to the neck down that leads into Mistassin Lake. So anyway, there's a spot here that's more or less teeming with walleye. Joe also caught a pretty decent pike, eh buddy? Yeah, it's not bad. Like 36? Yeah. Which are just like a hair under. We, we didn't actually have a tape measure in the boat with us, so... Notch I Notched uh, the paddle and... Notched the paddle and then... Tried it on there. Yeah. It was a decent fish. Yeah. So, right now we're fighting the wind, but anyway... This is a spot where you really need to anchor. The fish are not deep. But they are hungry. Oh, they're hungry. They're, uh, and it, I mean, we, I don't know what we've caught so far in the first few hours here, but yeah, a lot. Oh, they're, oh. and they're, um, they're really beautiful fish too. Like I call them new car fish because they're not scratched up. There you go. Yeah, just stacked up like cordwood. Oh. oh well, we didn't have to take that one off. They're really clean fish. Beautiful, beautiful walleye. <clears throat> so I think if the weather cooperates, it's going to be just uh, an unbelievable fishing trip. 
Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think I've been on about 15 of these with you, and I have to say, at least for the opening day, for sure, this is the best place. Like I just, it just went from 8 feet to 16, 17. And surprisingly, at least to me, uh, the deep part of the channel, there's like nothing. They're all in that like 8 to 10 foot of water, and there's scattered cabbage mm -hmm. up on the shallower flat. So, yeah, I mean, it's a little surprising that they're not down. It's not like it's that deep, but yeah, anyway, easy fishing. Yeah. Day, another adventure. Yes, Take sir. Away, Mike. We're about to hit the trail. It's marked right there. I don't know if you can see it because I don't have zoom lens, but a little bit windy, kind of a sketch landing. But anyway, we got the motor there. We're going to walk across and uh, see what happens. Always an adventure. Yes, sir. Goodbye with my wife and kids, just in case. Fortune favors the bold. Okay, we're on the trail. We're going to walk over. It's actually a pretty decent trail. We already walked the motor and gas over and got that set up. Um, to the best of my knowledge, talking to the outfitter and um, with the previous owners, um, with the intel that they gave them on this, it hasn't been used in at least 10 years. Anyway, but the trail is actually still really clear. There's boats there. Everything's ready to go. There we are. Beauty. All right. Whew. Well, we made it, and yeah, like the sun is shining. It's crazy. I don't know how we long it's been. We stepped through a, a time tunnel. We gone somewhere a new planet. Yeah, we went. We went through like a, a black lost. hole from like late fall into. Um, like, I don't know, summer. It's, oh my God, it's a fucking northern it's nice. dinosaur. Yeah. And the motor started up. First pull. Gotta love it. It is windy, but it's protected here. We're in the, least, the lee of the wind here, so it's a little bit deceiving. But this is going to be fun. It took a little while, right? <clears throat> we uh, came to the end of the lake, and then we're just going to do a milk run of spots what I think are grade A spots and uh, we're off this little point right here it's all bouldery it's about 8 to 10 feet deep with deep cabbage and uh, right off the bat it's not a behemoth but it's pretty nice it's not a bad way to it's a thick snap off it's, the a, first it's one. a super super thick thick guy like holy moly Let's see if I can describe yeah, it's it it's not a snot rocket that's a nice fish actually Bad. Not bad. Not a bad all. start for the Portage Lake. <laughs> Holy shit. <Yeah>. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Portage Lake again. We've kind of been battling 
wind and rain and we're in this protected bay at the end of the lake and but this guy's been working out yeah that's a pretty good pike on the doctor spoon yeah. surprise surprise the orange and copper doctor spoon it is very well hooked holy beauty um awesome. i'm, I'm going to grab that guy actually so if you can swing, swing it around to this side because i can't really like swing it right around the front of the boat and I will work my magic. That's a fat one too. Yeah, it's they're like all really fat here. Fat and clean looking. Just really nice looking fish. Beauty. Uh, it's got like a leech it's on a it. It's a fatty. Really nice. Mm. Beauty fish. Not bad. All right, let's do some uh, surgery here. Yes. We came into this corner, like right after Joe caught his fish, and I spooked this fish. It just, like, moved all this water, and I'm like, holy Jesus. I was like, I had a, my line out behind the boat trolling, and this had to be the same fish. It hit it. Yeah, it was like three and feet away. You know what? It's not as big as I thought it, thought it was, but oh my God. It was like, it, just insane. Nice. It's like two big pike in five minutes. Nice fat pike, like, but holy moly. That's wild. But just what happened, the way it happened, I've never seen that before. It's a really girthy. Oh, there's nothing like that. Yeah, they're all, they're fatties here. Yeah. That was so cool. Wow. And the best part is, like, we're actually casting for them. Oh, the rain, the cold, cold rain. Yuck. It's like having like a, a little dog on the end of your line. <laughs> oh, they're all, they're all so fat and girthy, these guys. Oh, yeah. Like just girthy, girthy, girthy. Yeah, wow, it. awesome. Nice. Another good fish. Oh my gosh. Look at this thing. That's a nice one. It's a tank. Oh, that is a nice. That's a tank, buddy. Yeah. So we uh, we caught out of the Oh my god, take a look. I saw it. I know. I'm excited too. Oh, it's man. it's really well hooked. On the pink and white doctor spoon. Oh man. We got about a dozen really nice ones in the bay behind us. And then this, look at this bay right here. This is the and it's, cherry it's, on the it's, cake. It's like all deep with cabbage. Oh, I'm gonna man. grab the cradle. We just finished saying this is the place. The penultimate. Fish from the yep, trip. We literally here. just said that, actually, because it looks so perfect. It's the penultimate location. Here we go. Here we go. my teeth. It's strong. Here we go. I got it. No problem. Awesome. That is a beauty. Nice one. All right, buddy. High five. High five. Yes. Hey again. It's been three minutes. Best day of pike fishing in my life, and I've been on like 15, 20 of these trips. It's been pretty Insane. good. Insane. Been pretty good. Swinger, swinger over here. Another one on the pink and white doctor. Another solid fish. Oh, that's a that's a solid fish. Oh, nice. Hold the line up, please. That's dangerous on my fingers. Here, hold that. There you go. Nice. Not a bad fish. Not bad at all, eh? Yeah. Like lots of these guys. One after another. It's crazy. See ya. See you later. Awesome. Just awesome. Well, here we go again, ladies and gentlemen. It's not big. Well, oh, that saved us the trouble. That's a long range release. The boulders down there are just unbelievable. Like car sized boulders, 8 to 12 feet deep, and scattered cabbage. Not sure how big this fish is, but. So sure slammed it. It bumped it. Like it. Big fish have a way about them, you know, like it literally bumped it. 
I'm, I'm wrapped up in a whole bunch of weeds here. Oh, I think it's gone. It's gone. Wow. It's gone. Damn. Oh. You were a white whale. Yeah. We're just at the dock getting stuff ready. Eric's just checking the depth. Um, wanted to see how it compared to the transducer. Two drops straight down. And, oh, is that a fish right there? That was a fish. And he, he caught two consecutively. <laughs> Not even casting, just dropping it straight over this side. We're in a nest of walleyes, but I mean the wind is blowing into this point. We're in the corner of this point here. It's actually a textbook spot, but still it was funny. We're going to go in a long wet... Oh, D, oh, D has one right there. Where are we going for a boat ride? So that's the third one. That's actually not a bad one. And he inhaled it too. Oh! Three walleyes. Three walleyes. <laughs> We're right off the dock. We just made this crazy long run from the from the uh, end of um, Black Birch. It's actually not bad. Wow. These boats are a little slow, I'm not gonna lie. And the first sort of decent looking spot that we we checked out, there's like a, a bay here that's deep, deep, deep all the way in. And then it has a cabbage right in the back end. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a spot. I'm pretty sure. And like immediately, a nice chunky fat one. Oh wow. Let's see if I can land this guy. Yeah, I'll take the tape for that. Yeah, no, it's a decent one for sure. It comes with salad too. Yep. Oh. On the orange and copper doctor, once again. What a surprise. The doctor is in. He's making house calls. Mm -hmm. oh, big head on this guy. Oh, baby. Wow. How's that for a start? Holy, nice <laughs> first fish of the day, ladies yeah. and gents. You gotta like Mistassin Lake. Holy. Yeah. I'm like. Again. It's like heart stopping. One after another. Honest to God, watch this. Watch. Watch this. I'm gonna unhook this guy. I mean, it's a nice fat one. It's not, it's Real not fat. like trophy size, but it's, it's a fat, nice fat pike. Like, we wouldn't even take a picture of that guy. We'll just unhook it quickly. Watch this. This is wild. It's possible. I might know. I don't need the pliers. Just a nice little chunky one. Okay. Yeah. Watch this. We're going to do another one. Watch. This is wild. Okay. Where's that patch of weeds? Okay. That one moved like a bathtub full of water, too. It's wild. Anyway, it's like 57. It's a it's a degree colder than it was yesterday. It was 58 yesterday. 57 degrees. Sunny and balmy. Well, it ain't sunny and balmy. But the fish are um, highly, highly aggressive. And they're not... It's not like we're um, having to troll for them in 30 feet of water with depth raiders. <laughs> It's almost like a spring pattern. We're fishing these bays. And um, the cabbage is still sort of green. It's about 90% green still. Coming in the second week of September here. Yeah. yeah, and it's pretty far north. But it's pretty fun. I mean, it's literally almost like a spring pattern, although there's not as many fish in, these, in the spring. These bays would be teeming Strong. with pike. Mm -hmm. But uh, not really any small ones. No small ones. Like that one I just released was like a small one. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Oh yeah, baby! Water wolf. Another chunky, chunky pike. Slamming. This one's on the Williams Whitefish, but we're, we're just going. So the pattern is, we're basically going from bay to bay, just like springtime. We're looking for deeper bays with deep cabbage, and this one is actually. It's kind of raw, like the wind is blowing right into it. We're freezing. <laughs> but anyway, you're feeling warm right now, right? Well, you know, the adrenaline helps. Yeah. This is going to be a little bit of a challenge. Another big fatty. Oh, yeah. Big 
head on that guy again. Yeah. They all have such big heads. Like trucks. Yeah. Kind of dangerous because the hook is like on this side. Not a bad one, eh? No. You can't even get it all in the camera. No, I know. Awesome, awesome fish. We kind of worked our way almost right to the end of Mustassen Lake, and uh, we're at a junction. I'll kind of show you later on the map, but uh, it's kind of a junction here of. Uh, two bays converging in one spot and there's uh, about eight to ten feet with cabbage and it's like yeah this is oh it's gonna get all wrapped up and it's gonna wow. break off nice. it's um it's a decent fish anyway she's all wrapped up she's lassoed that was like within the first like five seconds of like as soon as we got to this spot this is a spot mark my words mm -hmm. people that are watching this video <laughs> This is the beginning of something very epic. I've got a feeling about this. The wind is right. Everything is right for this spot. The depth, the weed. Very, very well hooked. They're such beautiful fish. These pike. Yeah. Just gorgeous colors. This one's got a weird, weird, it's like got a cleft lip. <laughs> this pike. Really? Yeah. Wow. Hey, look. Look at his lip. Look at his nose. Oh, yeah, that's weird. <laughs> We've got... It's a bulldog fish. Yeah. Oh, wow. Ooh. It's like a Halloween fish. Yeah. That one... Uh, wow, it's well hooked. That one has, has some issues. Yeah. I'm going to try and unhook him quickly. Right there. Poor guy. Mm. <laughs> I know. It's bad enough making, being made fun of by all the little pike. Yeah. Now you got a hook. When they're in school. Look at that. Perfect. Not even in the gills. Even a, miss, even a fish wouldn't get in trouble if it's kept its mouth shut. Wow, that was nice and easy. Nicely done. Yeah. Not bad. Good start. <laughs> that's well, a way to start that's a off. Mouth, that's a mouth only a mother could love right there. <laughs> and I came into the Portage Lake today and man it's a, like a lot different from when we were here with Joe or when I was here with Joe it's uh, east wind it's a struggle like this is literally the first bite that we've had right yeah. it's crazy so anyway I, I started fishing a little further out we were getting them in closer like in the bay the other day and um, just a little further out in the main body of the lake in like 12, 13 feet of water. I think it's a good one. They always fool you though. I think it's a good one. The sun's out now, I can't see yeah. anything. <laughs> I may get you to cradle it. Like I'll, uh, I'll hold the camera. Have a look, Let's see what you're dealing with here. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like it's, here. Tag team effort here. Nice thick one for sure. Oh baby. Ready? On the old William White fish, hammered and silver. Hammered gold and silver, half and half. Well, oh. Oh. You can like the look of that cradle. You ready? Let's sweep them in like almost instantly. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right. Yeah, baby. One bite, one solid fish. This is like an epic battle here. I'm following this fish. It's buried in the weeds again. If it's still on, it's a pretty decent one. <laughs> Bruce fishing off this point. It's kind of a subtle main lake point it's not a really obvious spot but anyway there's some fish here i can't believe this fish smoked me like i that feels it actually doesn't even feel like weed it feels like oh it's moving there we go yeah it's still on it's still on i can't believe it i felt like a log 
Okay, he's still on. <laughs> Woo! I thought it wrapped around like a, a tree. Oh boy. It's a decent fish, like it's a nice thick one. It's okay. No, that one's okay. It's um I think it's well hooked. The thing about the the pike in this lake that just like freak me out, they're so they're almost perfect specimens. Like the spotting the um portions of these fish. They're just beautiful, beautiful pike. Bad, not bad. I mean, it's not a. It's not. You can't even get it all in, eh? This. Maybe this way. I got to change. Go this way. Woo! All right. Oh boy, we're just working our way around the lake, and we're not getting a lot of bites, eh? No. I mean, it's not like it's on fire. It's an east wind today, but anyway, it's um, it's okay. Anyway, this is a neat spot. This is like 18, I got 18 feet on the graph right here, 18 to 22 feet, and you probably can't see it because it doesn't zoom in, but there's like a bed of of uh, weed right there, like directly adjacent to deep water. And I got this kind of, as we call in the trade, Toyota Camry on the end of my line. <laughs> on the daredevil, on the crawdad colored daredevil. Slammed it. Oop, that one's like actually barely hooked now. Let's see if I can grab it. Come here. I always go the wrong way when I'm trying to grab it. Can hold your rod. It's not very long, but it's a nice, super clean, thick one. Bye bye. <laughs> That's okay. That's easy. I kind of knew that was gonna happen. Ah, sorry. Okay. Oh, <laughs> the very next oh, cast, yeah. D-Man lost a nicer. I think it was even nicer, actually. Yeah. Wow. This is a spot. So let me just twist this one off. That's a bit smaller than this one. Yeah. They're all nice thick ones though. I can hold it like a bug. <laughs> See you, oh, buddy. Awesome. Oh, another one. Boom. Just like that. It's not giant, but still. This is on like a, a weighted plastic swim bait. Swim bait hook with a, a weighted um, shank. He'll come off on his own. Bro. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. It's a really cool spot. Like, I mean, 17 to 23 feet where we're sitting in the boat here. And then uh, it's like directly where that patch of weeds is directly adjacent to this deeper water. It's so perfect. side of this patch of weeds and immediately I had this big fish come in hot right up my lure <laughs> and then it, like I dapped it down in the water just like jigged it up and it freaking smashed it right beside us crazy it's a pretty nice one for sure it's a nice one nice big thick fat one oh that was heart stopping though just just the hit and like it's, it was all visual right that was wild hold the rod
beauty. Unreal. That was so cool. Big, fat, thick one. Beautiful colors, too. Look at that on the perch colored doctor spoon. Nice. Thank you, Mr. Badalini. <laughs> oh, it's like another, another, like, chunky one. Oh, man. He's definitely on to something here now. This little patch of reeds. I don't know what this is. Like arrowhead? Whatever it is. Anyway, they like it. Just a nice thick one. Let's see if I can just grab them just to show the people watching this video. You know what? It's almost like worthy of a still shot. It's like that's a that's a thick one. Holy moly. It's a little bigger than I thought. Wow. We're coming around the back side, like I said on that last fish. We were working the outside, like the main lake side of this wheat patch. We're coming around the back side. There's a swath of clear non-weed or weed-free water on the back side and casting in this direction just for a different perspective. And so far, it worked. Oh, it's pretty well hooked, so I'm not too worried. Uh, oh my goodness holy like not bad at all <laughs> look at that beast on the doctor they like that porch color doctor right now wow <laughs> <laughs> fall plank demon up to bat i don't know if this is a giant giant fish or if he's, he's got fifty thousand pounds of cabbage but uh, there's a big flat here that's like eight to ten feet deep, all cabbagey, and uh, he's throwing a perch-colored doctor spoon. And this fish so far is having his way with him. I think I might have to follow this fish actually. I'm starting to get actually flashbacks to Napkin Lake. Hey, okay. I'm not sure. I know the boat's moving. It's like got ten pounds of. Cabbage on the line. It's probably, I don't know, I think it's actually a pretty good one. That's my guess. I don't think you snagged it. What do you got on there, buddy? Oh, dude, that was, it must have, it got off. Well, oh, darn it. Yeah, it wasn't a piece of cabbage that streaked off like a hundred yards of line off your reel against the wind. Holy jumping. Oh boy. Oh well. It is our second last full day. We've got two more days of fishing. The other lads are gone already. They left a little bit earlier. Headed to uh, Mistassin Lake again. Long boat ride. Um, Joe and I are headed into the Portage Lake. Plus, it was raining and uh, neither one of us has the, uh, the real desire to uh, um, torture ourselves. So, it's a short boat ride to the start of the portage, and uh, it's a short walk over, so it should be an easy day. And look at that. There's actually a patch of blue sky, a little bit of blue sky poking through the clouds. That's like pretty much for the first time in the entire week since we've been here. This is amazing. <laughs> so, it's a little bit of a late start. It's like 9.30, quarter to 10. But, uh... That's okay. I think it's going to be a good day the rest of the day from here on in. Joe's got the backpack. We're going to throw all the small loose odds and ends in the backpack for the walk over the trail. It's actually a really short walk. I filmed it earlier this week. It's like just a little over 200 meters. Not a big deal. Morning. You ready for the uh, challenge? Here, throw that back here. I will right, we'll take that. We are off. We just started. Just saying, this is where we slayed him the other day, and bang, right on cue. And it's funny, from day to day, like when I was in here the other day with, Sorry, um, Adam. with Adam, there was nothing going on. Sweet I mean, we didn't even fish. get a hit in this spot. It's kind of an innocuous little bay, a nothing little bay at the end of the lake, but yeah. And that's on, um, which color doctor you got on there? Orange. Oh yeah, the orange. Can't copper. wait to see it, man. This yeah. is gonna be a big fish. Well, we'll see. Oh, no, we'll I know see. for sure. We'll see. Yeah, that's a. Oh, okay. He's that's an right. okay was, one. No, nah, I was in the weeds. That's what it was. <laughs> it felt way better. Still not. I mean, I'm not gonna 
didn't cry over it or anything, but that was so funny though, right on cue. Yeah. I mean, not bad. Not bad. No, not at all. Here, hold that. They do fight nice. well. Mm -hmm. You can start just a little bit further out, actually, in a little bit slightly deeper water, and uh, I hit a, an okay fish. What's amazing to me, and I'll show you th this that's fish. Oh, well, that's a nice fish. I mean, it's okay. They're just among the prettiest pike, maybe, I've ever seen in my life. The spotting, and it's true, the spotting on these guys, it's just unbelievable. Really beautiful, beautiful fish. It's barely hooked. I may not actually let you land this fish. Oh, huh. it is like barely hooked. It's not that big, but it's it's a real pretty fish. Very pretty fish. Yeah. They're pretty chunky, most of these too, eh? They're not like skinny pike. Not bad. Hey. Nothing wrong with that, Holmes. No, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Heard. <laughs> yeah, well, as they say. Yeah, that wasn't all that well hooked, eh? I mean, look at, I mean, I just, I don't mean to harp on it, but like, look at the color on that fish. It's just a beautiful, beautiful fish. See ya. See you later, guy. Okay, let's get its granddad. And you're into another. We haven't been getting a ton of bites today. But we've been working hard for every bite. And we were just about to actually switch up and start trolling deep diving crankbaits because they're clearly not in the um, the shallows like they have been. But uh, anyway, this spot, Joe just got a pretty decent one, and uh, I got I okay one on here. I don't know if it's the same one I, I actually rolled. It rolled behind my spoon uh, to cast before this one hit. It's a it's another kind of like mid sized chunky mid-sizer. Anyway, let's see if I can grab that guy. On the perch colored Dr. Spoon. Ooh, yeah. If I really cared about that fish, I would be cradling it. Like that, that guy is like so barely hooked. Barely, oh. barely hooked. Not wow. bad. Nothing wrong with that. It's one. okay. Just like by a shred of skin. Nice. Okay. Oh well. They're definitely on fire. Let's see what Lots got. of these guys. Another. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. I mean, you're getting really spoiled. Really Yeah, I'm getting really spoiled because it's there's nothing wrong with this pipe, but it's um. It's not a 40. Oh, it's a nice, nice chunk. Pushing it. Nice chunky mid sized fish. Right on. Next cast after that last one there. It's another clone, I think. I thought, that for a second, I thought it was like giant, but wow. Another solid one. Actually, yeah, no, it's just it's making like my job easy. It's another. This one's a little smaller. Come here, you. Oh wow. Mm, lots of life. Little chunky monkey. Mm-hmm. Nothing wrong with that, Holmes. No. Fifteenth. You're right. Mid-September. First friggin' sustained sunlight we've seen the entire week. There you go. Got one? Yeah, I got one. There you go. Big surprise. Glad I didn't put it away. 
It's another Camry or what? It's another, yeah, Toyota Camry. We're looking for the Hummer. <laughs> because I think most guys enjoy the Hummer here. <laughs> uh, this one, they're getting smaller oh, now. That's a Civic. Exactly. Okay. The midsize, Toyota Camry. Why don't you try this cast and if you get it, I'll film and if not, then I'll throw. Okay. No pressure. Oh, I got him. <laughs> Thank you for making me edit that out. Times are tough. No behemoth? Uh, this one's not bad. I think. It's sometimes hard to tell. It's a somewhat light tackle, but it's a, it's a saltwater, inshore saltwater spinning rod. I prefer these rods to the big casters to throw these, these lighter spoons. Okay, in you go. Little bugger. On to the next one. Joe is up to bat. Oh, well, a, a nice thick one, yes indeed. He switched over to the perch doctor. He just gave up. He gave up. Oh yeah, that's a nice fat one. I can probably actually grab that guy if you if you swing him around uh, the other side? Well, maybe I'll Erica. go on this side. Here. All right. Come over here. Oh, that's a fat one. Uh, gotcha. Yeah. Ooh, it's not, not bad. bad, buddy. That's mm. a pretty decent one. Yeah, I think I'll take the tape for that one. Yeah. Not bad at all. We have our first sunny day, right, Joe? Yeah, literally. finally. Imagine. Of the entire week? Yeah. I mean, literally. Nuts. It's been like five, six straight days? I don't even know. Yeah. Five straight days, six, of uh, just Sad. low ceiling, mist, rain, heavy wind, and it cleared up a couple hours ago. So, and the beautiful part about uh, here, <laughs> you don't have to go far unless you really want to. So. <laughs> I mean, pretty much every evening. I haven't, I haven't been filming it, which I sh I've been slacking, but pretty much every evening, the guys have been coming down to the dock here and just catching them off the dock, right? Do the dock challenge! The dock challenge. I have, uh, I'll show you before I start pitching it. It's an eighth ounce, I'm not sure actually, like the head, it's it's like the sparkly orange and silver head. It looks, it looks pretty sexy, it's like a disco head. And, uh, the electric chicken, the electric chicken, Northland Impulse Paddletail. Electric chicken. If somebody who doesn't fish watches this video, they'll be like, what? A disco head with an electric chicken, like plastic body. Off the charts. Yeah. Tomorrow, our last day is supposed to be god awful. So. Well, it's nice right now and we're about to enjoy a master class in walleye fishing. So it is six to eight feet right here and very, very rocky. So usually I don't go vertical unless it's a little bit deeper. You'll just make a bit of a long cast and just sort of let it sink two or three feet and just kind of pop it back. Oop, there it is. I'm just kind of dragging, I was just dragging the jig behind the boat while I'm I'm switching spots here. And sometimes it's just like a matter of like 30 feet. There's so much structure here. How's it look? Yeah, this one feels okay. Not bad? Yeah, it's a pretty nice one actually. Ooh, this one. Nice wall. Well, this one's actually kind of gnarly. We've been saying they're all nice and clean. It's got like a big gnarly fin. This is a used car one? Yeah. Well, that one's alright. Wrong with that, Holmes. No, it's also got a big lymphosarcoma on the side. Yum. <laughs> so what causes that? 
it's um idea? it's a viral thing it happens when there's too many walleyes close together like hmm. it does it's completely harmless and doesn't you can actually cut them off fry them up and fish crisp and eat them like completely benign to humans <laughs> cool. but uh, we're not going to do that we'll take the cheeks we'll take the wings we'll take the loins the sarcomas we'll leave anyway nice one yep There it is. There we go. There's one. There's one. How is it? It's okay. It's like, you know, a dime monkey. a dozen. Lots of these guys. Another one for the plot. Let's see if I don't kill myself this time. Fall backwards. There you go. Two handed. Double fist in the walleyes. <laughs> Woo! We're on a little bit of a spot here. Yeah, just a bit. Let's see if we can do that again. Feels nice to stretch your back without being soaked in oh, rain. There you go. Whoa. Oh. Well, that didn't take long. I think that one was like hooked in the belly. Did you see it take off? Yeah. I think I would run like that if I was hooked in the belly. <laughs> yeah, it's always a little deceiving when they get the belly roll. What? <laughs> Burnt Dan. Burnt. <laughs> no. Never mind. Oh. Got him one. There we go. Oh. See, we're, it's making it easy. We're going to actually take them off. We are going to count that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. I just literally can't even imagine what this spot would be like in June. You would catch like a hundred walleyes. Just without even trying. In the chin! Yeah. The chin! Yeah, because you got to remember, this is like mid-September. Yeah. It's all the fish are in transition right now. Like, it's turn for sure turnover is going to be starting really soon. Yeah. Once that happens, it's even more difficult. The weed, once the weed totally dies and turnover happens usually the walleye goes super deep but, but um, uh, it's um on, on water bodies like this that are more that are shallower in general it sometimes doesn't affect them as much oh that one just literally impaled it oh great you nice actually have to use the pliers for that guy decent yep chunky Right yeah, there. we had a uh, little fish fry the other night. That was pretty good. Yeah, I didn't. I had, <laughs> I had you had enough of your uh, enough fish this I summer. I spent like a month and a half in the bush with my son camping this summer, mm -hmm. and I ate so many walleyes. I probably should be growing fins. Mm -hmm. So there we go. I ate I ate beef. The flight was a little bit of a flight to get in here, eh? Oh, it's like an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, for a float plane, that's well, a while. As I said before, this is probably right now the furthest north operating single cabin outpost camp. In Ontario? In, in Ontario. So it's like, mm -hmm. I'm going to probably, I'll be wrong, but I think I'm right. It's like 170 kilometers, something like that. 178 kilometers, I think, something like that. North and slightly west of Nikina. Hmm. It's past the Albany, it's past the Attawapiskat. This is on really uh, a watershed that is really part of the Winisk River drainage. They were just south of Webequay, so the native community up there. I'm going to actually uh, just move us back up to. Okay. Uh, I mean, I can see the whole bottom here. Like, actually, if you put the camera down on. Look at it. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see that with um, without a polarizing filter on that, but it's like an aquarium. Sand and mm. interspersed with weeds. Like, look at it on this side. There's some brown dying cabbage on that side. Like, you can see it in the sun over there. Mm -hmm. I just, yeah, I'm trying to get the exact... Yeah, you want to get it right in the exact spot, because it is, it's like... Um, once you're on that nipple, there's no getting you off. Oh, we like the nipple. The nipple is good. Yeah, once we latch, we don't like to unlatch. Oh. 
Yep, there's the nipple for production. Found the nipple. <laughs> I feel like I should be trying other baits and stuff. I'm a big fan of Northland. They support me a lot, but like, we could literally be dropping anything over the side of the boat. Yeah, exactly. I mean, <clears throat> literally anything. It doesn't matter. Yeah, and then overall, like, there's a lot of good size walleye here, too. Yeah, there's not too They're not all little dinks. No, I don't think there's any trophies. I don't think you're going to get... I don't think you're going to get a 30-inch walleye. But we're not really getting too many tiny little no. dinks. They're all, like, 18 to 22, 23 inches. And then with mm -hmm. the odd, like, 25, 26. Yeah. This is, like, basically a flowage. I mean, if you look at this lake... It's mm -hmm. literally, it literally is the, a flowage. It's long and narrow. There's current in every tight, compressed neck down. It's almost, I don't want to say it's like a river. It's not, but it's like part of this. If you look at it on the map, this watershed, literally, it's like mm -hmm. this crazy convoluted flowage that all feeds into the mm -hmm. Winnes River. So, I mean, as far as patterns go, any walleye, any, t any neck down, like this spot here, any point, any obvious point, mm -hmm. they're not really relating to mid lake structure at all. It's all like shoreline oriented stuff. The pike, I came prepared to troll in the deeper water because there is some deeper water. Yeah. But we're basically fishing like we would in the spring. We're fishing bays. Yeah. But we're not fishing the back end of the bays. We're fishing the entrance to the bays in like 8 to 12 feet of water, finding the cabbage on the graph and then fishing that water but the bays so it's it's actually pretty easy it's not like it's a whole lot of effort or thought going <laughs> as we can see here one after yeah another. this is particularly easy the, uh, oh this one's got to be in the belly oh it's not either it's just a pretty nice one a nice one yep That's cool. awesome oh yeah he's nice chunky Oh. Nice vibrant colors too. Oh, these ones are all nice and clean. Especially with the uh, only like that sun. one gnarly one I caught. I oh think yeah. We got it on film one with the cleft palate. Yeah. I'm gonna call that one Jimmy. <laughs> no, the walleye, the big gnarly like skinny kind of oh. with the ugly fins. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Calling that fish Jimmy. Okay. All right. Jimmy's got a system. These ones here are all clean. Yeah. Just all like glowingly green and I like, call them new pirate fish. That's what they look I like. I call them Mike. This is actually another nice one. That one. Oh, that's a nice one. This is, this is awesome. Mm. I mean, or you could just sit here and literally do this all day. You could, and it's protected here. Like almost, yeah. it doesn't matter what direction the wind's coming from. It's this spot is actually super, super protected. Yeah. Oh man, can't be in much more of a beautiful place. No. Either. What did I say? Oh, owie, owie! Big fistful of walleye right there. Yeah, that's it. I love bringing novice anglers to spots like this I like it it's like not an eye opener for it gets a little bit it gets a little like it gets a little tired too much of a while. good thing is that what we're saying <clears throat> I couldn't do it all day long no. there's no way that's why we got the but bike. you bring novice anglers and you feed off that excitement oh god yeah so. hi guys come on over Hello. how you doing good So, quick synopsis. How was your day? Too many fish to count. Spectacular. Spectacular? Uh, Too many fish to a count? A giant bull and a big cow in the one bay. Oh, you saw some, you saw some it. animals. It's a good thing we didn't have the 270 or he'd be, <laughs> we'd be eating. Something would have died today. But you guys had a good day. Lots oh, of fish. we caught lots of fish, yeah. lots of pike, lots of, awesome. lots of big pike, lots of walleye. Lots of big pike. Well, 35 to 40s. Yeah, right on. Good. Another that. Awesome. How about you boys? Any large pike today? Couple. Yep. You got a couple? Oh yeah. Lots of walleye? 
Awesome. Did you pill for any whitefish out of the hole here today? No. <laughs> They're just uh, walleye after walleye. Is it? Yep. Chili for dinner, boys. That cabin will be hot. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. Hey, we're going to sleep in the other cabin tonight. Oh, it's fine. You guys, it'll all be good. What a beautiful It's not supposed to smell good. Um, we're going to actually pound on a few more walleyes here. Alright, we're going right. And we'll see you back at camp. Sounds good. Did you go yeah. try fishing off that uh, island where it's got a deep hole? Uh, I, I kind of just drove around. Not really, no. I just, I drove around that you know, side all the way around. You know when you came out, you saw us but by that yeah. saddle? Yeah. Big plank in there. By the first saddle. The very first saddle? Right there. Jimmy. That saddle right there. Yes, okay. Sir. Cool. There go. Good Sounds good. Hey boys. Jimmy's gonna head back to the camp like he does every night and start rustling up dinner. Diet food. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Alright so. boys. Okay. Yeah. Bay, eh? All right, I'm going to do a short tour of Greywood Outfitters Black Birch Lake Outpost Camp located very far north of Makina, Ontario. I believe at this point in time it is the furthest north operating single cabin outpost camp in the entire province. Countless, countless walleye, as many as you wanted in that 18 to 23 inch class. Um, large numbers of big pike, which was awesome. I mean, that's my true love. Uh, we didn't have to troll for them. The water temperatures were like 56 to 58, and there was still green cabbage, and we were casting for them all week long and catching them. It was just phenomenal. It's a beautiful, beautiful spot. It's a really cool vibe. There is a lot of birch trees here in this clearing. So brand new fish cleaning shack here. <clears throat> this was just built in the spring, 2021. Uh, what you see is what you get. It's actually, it's got lights and running water and uh, I mean, what more do you want? It's like closed off to the elements so in spring when the bugs are bad, it will be very, a very welcome addition, I'm sure. This was the original camp and it looks to be ancient. But uh, anyhow, this is where all the uh, tools and miscellaneous camp stuff is stored. And, gas among other things so the camp is wired for electricity this is sort of this little lean-to is where the generator is this camp is very well bear proofed as you can see there's one in there right now <laughs> hey fellows so just to point it out right behind Joe there is a giant electric chest freezer so yeah and then we got a barbecue at this end so everything's wired for electricity. The stove is actually propane. It looks like a pretty much brand new stove, but that's a propane uh, stove and oven. Full-size electric fridge, hot and cold running water at the sink. Uh, there is a wood stove. The primary source of heat is this right here. It's a propane heater. So we, it was really cool all week. So we had that thing set, the thermostat sort of low all the time and it kept the cabin uh, toasty. Two bedrooms, uh, two sets of bunks in each bedroom. They look like brand new mattresses. So this camp can accommodate eight. And then the bathroom, I don't really have the light on right now. I shut the generator off because I was filming. I didn't want the drone to be heard. But anyway, hot and cold running water at the sink and a shower. So phenomenal trip, really nice camp, great hosts. Perfect. Good equipment, right buddy? Really good. Yeah. Really good. Great. Boats Great. and motors were meant. Yeah, no leaks. Anyway, awesome camp. We were here at what is typically a difficult time of the year for fishing, right before the moose hunters come in, and it was spectacular. So, there you have it. A short tour of Greywood Outfitters Black Birch Lake Outpost Camp north of Nikina, Ontario. Here comes a ride. Time to head back to civilization. Been another awesome trip in the books. Till next time.